couple of running backs for the L.A. Rams. Good to go for week one after some training camp question marks. Cam Akers, who missed most of last year with a torn Achilles, suffered in July pre-camp workouts. He played in the final regular season game. He contributed in the playoff run. Daryl Henderson, who contributed most of the season, but didn't do much in the playoffs because of injury. They're both ready to go, and it's good to have both guys. Look, this is a position that chews guys up and spits them out, and you're going to have guys injured. So you got them both healthy. That's good for the Rams because chances are at some point somebody's getting banged up when they start running the football and banging into the car crashes, as you always call them. So we'll see. We'll see. But it's good for them to have both guys healthy at the same time because that hasn't happened in a long time. It's been a while. You're right. And, then, and you know, we do know that the Rams are they're a different football team, especially when Cam, Cam Akers is in the, in the game for them. You know, they, they're, 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 the patience of McVay with the running game, that's always something I've really admired for a guy that's looked at as the offensive genius. He, man, he doesn't give up on that run. And then the, the biggest thing, too, as we discussed a lot during the season last year, but they were, what, the number one play-action team in football or certainly one of the top play-action teams in the game. That's why that's how you get Cooper Cup and everybody flying behind the linebackers on the second level all the time. So they ride that, that, that horse there big time. They do. And then you're playing a team this week, again, where you, know, you want two guys that know the pass protection rules. It's Leslie Frazier. It's Sean McDermott. They do a lot of crazy things. You want to slow down that pass rush. Von Miller and Greg Rousseau and company coming into town. So there's a lot of positives there, no doubt. And and like I said, they have a few new, new, new moving parts there for the Rams offense. Cam Akers, is, he's big-time running back. He's a difference maker for their football team. Cam Akers, and you go back and look at his rookie numbers, they were not spectacular, but he did enough down the stretch. Yeah, it was the end of the year. That right. Last year, he was ready to become a superstar. Right. Now he's kind of been forgotten. He's good to go. He came back from that Achilles tendon faster than maybe anyone would have expected and really did contribute in the postseason last year despite not having that that same preparation he would have had if he was playing all year long. So he gets a chance, square one, to be the guy this year that we thought he was going to be last year, and he could end up being really good for that team, especially if defenses decide that they are going to commit to taking away Cooper Cup, that they're going to save some resources to slow down Allen Robinson and just otherwise take the steam out of the passing game. It opens up opportunities for Cam Akers. If he can stay healthy this year, he could have the season we thought he was going to have in 2021, Chris. Yeah, I think I think so. And maybe early on, like we talked about with the new offensive linemen and no Odell, Van Jefferson a little banged up. How's Allen Robinson's adjustment to the offense? They might need to rely on that running game. It would be interesting to see. But Akers is one of those guys where – I think we see even a different guy we saw in the playoff stretch last year, like you mentioned. It's 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 two years removed from the Achilles injury. And we saw a little yeah, a little glimpse of it the end of that rookie year where you went, Oh, this guy can be special. I remember seeing him in person doing Notre Dame and he was the Florida State running back going, Man, this guy is like legit. He's an NFL running back. He's a thousand yard type of running back and Really, if he doesn't get injured, I'd be shocked if he doesn't, you know, accumulate those kind of numbers this year in that offense. This is really our last chance to talk about this game since you will be sound asleep tomorrow morning and Thursday morning. We do have the Joint Mega Picks podcast That's coming right. up later today. We'll talk about the game then and make our picks. But, Chris, something you said there about Van Jefferson, who was the only Ram who didn't practice on Monday, and Allen Robinson, his first game with the team, and Cam Akers is healthy. And think about what the agenda and objective will be for the Rams from a game planning standpoint. They're always a team we look at as go, go, go all the time, score points, score points. And you got the Bills coming to town. Maybe there's maybe there's going to be some benefit in slowing it down, grinding it out, keeping 17 on the sideline. You know, even though we're talking about the defending champions, their best play may be long drives, sustained momentum, slow it down, score fewer points, and not let the Bills' offense go nuts. I, I'm, I'll be interested to see their approach. I will. You know, especially – Hey, early on, a team like Buffalo with all the crazy things they do on defense, yeah, will will they slow it down, get a feel for them at first? I don't know. But I I, I tend to think that it'll be the opposite. I don't know why. Well, I just feel like it's, it's year two with Stafford and company to where that's what they're going to unveil to us like to start the year here. 
and almost the the hey Stafford year two let's attack let's go no huddle at the line of scrimmage you know everything now we're on the same page McVay and Stafford I that I am interested to see that approach because I, I know within that approach too like that I'm talking about yeah you're putting my boy Blue back on the field and we know he's he's special there, there's no question about that and we know that Rams defense is good uh, definitely, but this this is a different animal they're dealing with for sure. But I don't think the Rams are going to bow down anybody with it when it comes to that, Mike. I think they're going to do what they do on the offensive side of the ball and try to apply pressure that way. I, I would be surprised if they don't take that route. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.